which traditionally has been one that automakers keep in the furthest reaches of their lineup nomenclature vaults, brought out for only the most special occasions. It has also frequently been denied to U.S. buyers, but the tide seems to be turning. Last year, Ford finally brought one of its RS models stateside in the form of the Focus RS. And now we can cross another name off the diminishing list of RS cars we don't get, with the imminent arrival of the new Audi RS3 sedan. Other parts of the world have had two previous Audi RSEs, both of which were hatchbacks powered by turbocharged five-cylinder engines featuring a cast iron block. The first was launched in 2011 as a limited to Europe special edition spun from the previous generation S3. The second, which made its debut in 2015, basically transplanted the same power plant into the current generation hatch. But now this new sedan variant has coincided with a switch to the same aluminum block turbocharged 2.5 liter in line 5 that we've already driven in the TTRS US cells of the 2017 RS3 sedan are set to start in the summer. The combination of a small car with a big engine remains a compelling one, and the RSS 400 horsepower output is pretty much exactly the right amount of too much. Audi Sport S head of development, Stefan Rail, confirms that it indeed would have been possible to produce a four cylinder engine with a similar peak output. Volkswagen recently axed a mostly developed 400 horsepower version of its EA888 2.0 liter inline four that powers the Audi S3 sedan, among myriad other applications. But Trail says the 2.5-liter straight 5, which is basically a 125% version of the 4, offers much better drivability people buy on horsepower but drive on torque. The RS3S maximum torque output of 354 pounds foot is available from 1700 to 5850 revolutions per minute and is a substantial increase over the 280 pounds foot of the S3. The interior is reworked in a similar vein and shares the regular sedan as respectable utility, including adult viable space in the rear, but with micro suede door panel inserts, quilted leather seats, and a chunkier sports steering wheel. Audi S virtual cockpit digital instrument screen will be available in the US with various configurable displays and some RS specific performance information, the most fun of which provides a real time gauge of the engine's torque and power outputs. outputs. Fastest Audi often have been more about engine than chassis, and although the RS3 sedan drives impressively well, the engine is definitely the reason you buy a ticket. As in the TTRS, the odd cylinder count and its 12,453 firing order gives the RS3 a compelling RL character. It officially references the famous Group B rally cars that Audi likes to remind us at once built but also under moderate loads emits a guttural roar that is reminiscent of the mighty V10 that powers the range topping R8. This engine loves to be worked hard all the way to the 7200 revolutions per minute fuel cutoff if the mood takes you, but it still feels deep chested and impressively rapid at a 5 tenths pace. Like all transverse engine quadro models, the RS3 uses a clutch pack at the yoke of the rear differential to deliver torque at the back when required, although here it has unique software and a faster acting high pressure pump to help sharpen its responses and to make the car feel more rear biased. This works. To an extent while the first RS3 could have been a parade float at an undersea festival, this one feels much more agile and nimbler when asked to attack a twisting road. In part that s because the new aluminum block engine is 57 pounds lighter than the iron block unit in the last car, a benefit multiplied when you consider that it sits ahead of the front axle. Also, the available reverse staggered tires give a little more lateral grip to the front end than to the rear further reducing the platform's propensity for plowing, 